This right here is your FX board and this particular version has a 2 watt amplifier hooked into it. So you can get this from Adafruit and it's pretty easy and simple to set up. Basically I've just gone ahead and soldered on some headers here so I can hook this into a couple 2 watt speakers which I also ended up getting from Adafruit. Eventually I want to put this in like a custom made sonic screwdriver so I'll need a much smaller um, pair or single speaker to get that to work. And then Next up, really, all I did was hook that up to a power supply. I got a 3 volt power supply over here. It can take anywhere from like 3 to 5 volts. And then after that, basically, it's ready to go. All you have to do is set from ground and then trigger and make momentary contact with any one of these pins. You can set it up with switches, or you can basically, just as I'm doing here to get started with, touch it with a wire in order to get it to work. It also has a digital volume control which is really nice. All you have to do is hit the plus on the volume control to make it louder or the minus to make it quieter. So it's pretty easy to set up for your different projects. And when you want to actually put your own custom sounds onto it, you can just hook it up via USB and with some particular different naming conventions you can get it to put in the different sounds you want. If you want the sounds to latch, if you want the sounds to be random, if you want basically, uh, there's a lot of different options available for that and I'm pretty impressed with the different uh, setup for that. What I eventually want to do though is get to have these things triggered by an Arduino and it looks to me like things are pretty well set up for being able to hook this up to an Arduino to trigger the different sounds and then I can have the Arduino also control some different lights for like a custom sonic screwdriver setup. So the Adafruit uh, 2 watt board is pretty straightforward to be able to use, pretty cheap and you can get it up and going and you can get it up and going without too much effort. So this is a good, pretty good project board for anybody who wants to add sound to their project. I particularly like the built-in 2 watt amplifier as that really makes things a lot easier so you don't have to worry about supplying your own amplifier. And the board's very small too. I should be able to put that just about anywhere. And if you don't put in on any headers, it's also really, really thin. So a lot of different options for mounting it. This right here is just an adapter for the USB on it. Comes off, so as you can see the board itself pretty darn small. The headers I soldered on uh, along with these wires here and you can kind of customize what you end up wanting to do but you don't need to use too many of these pins in order to trigger and get it to work for your particular project. 